Good afternoon, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, man, I, I, I'm just not making it without you guys. So, um, out running some errands and stuff, I went out to get some wood, and the wife was like, oh, I want to go. And then, you know, I was just going to go grab some lumber, some paint, and head on home. And of course the wife, oh, I got to take the stuff back to Kohl's to be sent back to Amazon. And are we going grocery shopping? And it's just like, oh, uh, I just want to get some wood and go back to my workshop. But anyway, um, Ian Rappaport put out a report on one Dak Prescott, as well as our defensive coordinator and what they're planning on bringing. So let, let, let me let me install while I'm sitting here waiting for the wife. I can, you know, do this video and get it done because I, I can't waste time. I ain't got enough time. Like, like Jerry Jones says, I don't have time for a bad time. But here's Ian Rappaport with his latest about Dak Prescott. This year was changed defensive coordinators. Mike Nolan was out. Dan Quinn, the former Falcons coach, was in. He is their new defensive coordinator. They signed him to a three-year deal. And what Quinn wants to bring to the Cowboys, something that's very necessary, is new energy and a simple scheme. Much more simple than what Mike Nolan was pushing. One front, one coverage. They believe this is going to get them back to playing defense the way they did in 2018. They think it's going to make a dramatic difference. Meanwhile, one of the other biggest storylines for the Dallas Cowboys this offseason, what about Dak Prescott? How is he recovering from that compound fracture and dislocation in his ankle? Here's what I understand talking to several sources. He's coming along great. He's walking right now, which is a big step, working the anti-gravity treadmill and the Hydra Works pull, which takes pressure off his ankle but allows him to get in shape. He is making great progress, and based on the work he's put in, what they think, he's going to come back better than ever. Well, thanks, Mooch. Right, so, he should be back better than ever. He's ahead of schedule. He's looking good, and uh, he'll be ready to rock and roll, which is great news, the fact that he's actually walking. When you think about what we saw with him on the field, literally trying to put his foot back together right there, the fact that he's already walking um, here and it's January um, is great news. Um, doing all, of course, the therapy that he needs to do to get it stronger and ready to rock and roll. Um, the great thing about a bone as opposed to a ligament, okay? The thing about it, when the bone is healed, you're 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 pretty much you know once it's locked in place the recovery from that is a lot easier than say a torn ligament um you're going to still have some flexibility issues because it hasn't been moved and things like that but it's not like when you have an acl that's replaced where you've literally taken a, a acl from a cadaver or you've taken uh, a tendon and you created a new one that whole thing really has to be worked stretched and everything else a lot more than having a bone once the bone's healed the bone's healed the bone's not going to do anything but hopefully stay together so the recovery time for that is much much better than more of your soft tissue repairs and things so that's great news for Dak uh, especially when you think that um, off-season workouts don't start until April so you still got several months before you really start getting into you know doing team work and stuff which is Fantastic. Now, if that's the case that Dak Prescott's going to be coming back better than ever, I, I popped a video a little bit earlier because the Ravens are already planning on signing Lamar Jackson to you know long-term deal. We know Josh Allen's going to get signed to a long-term deal. We've already seen Deshaun Watson as well as um, Pat Mahomes. And that is literally the next generation of quarterbacks here that we're talking about getting paid, and we're still dealing with Dak you know, after other co uh, quarterbacks got paid two years ago. The Cowboys, I'm sorry, uh, if I'm Dak Prescott, in some regards, without the risk, it's actually better for him to take a franchise tag because the price tag only continues to go up. A deal needs to be 37.7. And you may say, well, Mark, you just, you're not a Cowboy fan, man. You, you just a Dak Prescott fan. No, I, I said years ago, Cowboys need to pay him, and they could have got him for about $28, 29000000 million. And I kept saying, you need to pay this guy. 
trying to tell you this because the price continues to go up. You, you pay me now, you pay me later, but if you pay me later, it's going to cost you more. And at some point, you're going to keep messing around and messing around, and you're going to end up being one of these teams that don't have a quarterback. The Cowboys, make no mistake about it, have lucked into two quarterbacks. You can't tell me they planned on having Tony Romo, an undrafted free agent, as being their franchise quarterback. I'm sorry. The fact that that happened is like, wow. We literally hit the, the mega millions. To then turn around after that guy goes to draft a quarterback in the fourth round and playing the way he is, that's like winning the mega millions two times. In fact, no, 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 no. That's like being struck by lightning twice in the same place and winning the Mega Millions twice. That shit don't happen. The time is now to get this thing done. They, they got to stop messing around with this stuff. It, it's just ridiculous. It, it's just ridiculous. Get this thing done, Jerry. Jeez. And hurry up, honey. I got the game at four. I, I got a live stream at 415, honey. I got work to do. Peace.